Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. In today's video, we will see how to configure Pan European program in Odoo. So, in order to configure that program, go to Amazon module, configuration, settings, select your European seller account, and click on Add More Marketplace to integrate. which will take me to the page from where I can select my fulfillment program. So here I have already selected Pan European program. So as I have selected Pan European program, system has already selected these countries because if you are selling in Pan EU, if you have opted for Amazon's Pan European service, then you need to have, uh, you know, enrollment in all these marketplaces, France, Netherlands, Poland, Germany, Spain, Sweden, Turkey and Italy. Now you will also see the other pan-European country as Czech Republic. Now this Czech Republic country is not recognized as a marketplace but Amazon has its fulfillment center in this country. That's why seller can select whether they want to store their inventory in this country or not. Apart from this you will also find the UK as an optional marketplace here because after Brexit UK is not part of pan-European country, so seller can select whether they want to sell in UK or not. So once I have added this program and when I click on create marketplace, system will create all this marketplace in Odoo, which I can see from my dashboard. Now along with this marketplace creation, system also automate some of the configuration now let us see what all the what all are the configuration that system creates automatically so if you go to inventory configuration warehouse you will find this fba warehouses now the purpose for creation this fba warehouse is you sell uh, you send your inventory to amazon warehouse right so you need to have a proper monitoring proper tracking to your fba uh, inventory so that you can plan your next replenishment and everything so for that purpose in order to track your fb inventory we create this fba warehouse in odoo so system will create the warehouse for fr poland germany spain italy turkey czech republic now this czech republic is not uh, you know having a marketplace but it is having a fulfillment center that's why system has created warehouse for it and uk now if you have noticed one thing system has not created warehouse for netherlands and sweden the reason behind this is that amazon isn't having its fulfillment center in these two countries so that's why you won't find a warehouse for these two countries now apart from this the location that has been set to this FBA warehouse is the same that is Amazon EU slash stock because you need to send your inbound shipment only to one country from where Amazon uh, routes your inventory to multiple uh, marketplaces and countries based on the demand forecast logic right so that's why we set the same stock location for all of your Pan European countries. Apart from this, each of this warehouse will has its fulfillment center code. And whenever Amazon, uh, you know, comes up with any new fulfillment center, you can enter the new fulfillment code from here by clicking on add a line, setting up the Amazon seller, and that's it. Now the same warehouse will also be set in the marketplace configuration. So if you go to settings, marketplace, select seller. And if I select any of this European marketplace, I'll see that that FBA warehouse has been set up over there. So this was all about the pan-european program and all the automated configurations that system will make so that's all for this video thank you for watching